Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your man, Twister Drifter. Welcome back to another episode of the Drifts Pit Talk. Now, this, again, like the last one, was recorded back last month. And before we go and get into the, today's episode, I which does touch on the Twitch Boost debacle and the pros and cons of 24-hour streams, I need to go give y'all a little bit of a quick life update. So, back at the beginning of the month, um, the power supply on the PC sh decided it wanted to go and uh, shit itself, basically. Uh, basically, um, was in the middle of streaming R Factor 2, and all of a sudden, the power supply just shut off. And I go to boot the PC right back on, and big bang, sparks coming out the back, power supply was fried. So, our, just a bit of an update on that. The RMA process at the moment isn't really going too well. Um, it's looking like it's going to... Not sure if they're going to go and uh, do the RMA or not. Um, I haven't really heard back to anything yet. Probably going to have to re-email them. But it's looking like it's going to cost me, if at the worst case scenario, 115 120 bucks to get the PC back up and running. And that's not including tax. So probably closer to 130 um, so I've been basically right now just using the laptop um, basically to keep the content going on the streams. We've been playing a bit of Far Cry, Call of Duty, um, Forza Horizon 5, and it actually does it pretty well. We're able to stream uh, same, slightly lower quality than what we did before, but still along the same lines as well as pl while playing at 60 FPS Ultra. 1440p in most most scenarios. Sometimes I have to lower it a little lower, but still hovering around 60 FPS. However, it the uh, it doesn't do everything as well as the PC did. Um, hence the camera looking a little lower quality right now. As y'all can notice, uh, just a, a little grainier. I'm still trying to tweak the settings with that. Um, RTX broadcast is a thing is a thing that's not really working either. So. Having to use XSplit VCAM, I think that might be part of why the uh, camera looks a little weird. I'm um, not 100% sure. But anyhow, y'all, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, heads up, this was just the second time doing the Just Chatting segment. And I was uh, quite a bit nervous with it. Um, so expect a few awkward moments, especially towards the beginning where I was awkwardly just looking over this way. And when I was doing that, that was because I was looking at the uh, notes that I'd already written down on sort of the topics that we were going to be getting into for the episode. So just a heads up on that. But anyhow, y'all, hopefully you enjoy. Hopefully, uh, you know, the, the video is as you expected. And hope to see y'all come through. Uh, once again, the Twitch link is going to be in the description box down below. As well as the Discord and my Twitter. So if y'all want to go and join the socials, join the Twisted Drifter community over on our new platform. Well, not really new, but our current platform, Twitch or Twitter or Discord. Feel free to go and click the links down in the description box down below. And without further ado, enjoy today's episode of the Drifts Pit Talk podcast. Alright, so what is going on, guys? Hope everyone's doing well. Again, do apologize for all the uh, delays getting things set up. So what's going on, Jamal? Hope all is well for you, my dude. What you been up to, man? Again, sorry for all the delays getting things set up, y'all. Just a lot of things going through my head right now. And just trying to organize everything for this Just Chatting section. I'm playing Minecraft a shit ton lately. Yo, let's go. Let's go, man. Oh, glad to hear that. But, yo, for those who don't know, um, today is all about, today we're, go we're gonna be diving into a few different topics here, starting things off with, um, the twi discussing the, the stupid Twitch boost and what it means, what it could possibly mean for the future of Twitch, why I'm against that, I want to hear some of y'all's thoughts on these Twitch boost things as well. From there, we are going to go ahead and jump into the discussion of uh, some 
tips and tricks on uh, on 24-hour streams, the pros and the cons, as well as what you can do to sort of uh, prepare yourself for those. And then we're gonna go into pop it something a little bit motivational. So we'll see what see how that goes for you for you today. Hopefully y'all enjoy. But without further ado, we'll to start things off with the hot topic of everything. The Twitch boost. This is a huge thing. Now, for those who don't know, second here. Hopefully everyone's doing well though. Like I said, let's go and get on into this. So um with these Twitch boosts. Basically, what is going on is last week, Twitch decided, to, it was announced that Twitch, well not officially announced by Twitch I don't believe, but it was leaked that Twitch is going to start doing a something called boost. Now what this means is by boosting the stream, they had something similar to this being tested early last year, for or late last year for channel points. So basically what it would do is a up your viewers could basically come into your stream and use your use their channel points to boost your stream to a wider audience. But now if if they had kept it like that, I mean I'm I'm not get, I'm not for this boost feature either way. But basically what this does now, or what it did was it would Boost your stream to a wider audience via ads or something else. I don't know the full details of it. But now they're making you pay. Now they're giving your audience the ability to pay to boost your stream to a wider audience. Basically, um, as it says on the uh, on these Twitter on these uh, leaked images, it says. Boost the stream. Help so and so get discovered. Boost recommends so and so stream to new viewers to help grow their community. Boost the stream. 1,000 recommendations, 99 cents. 3,000 recommendations, $2.97. So basically, what Twitch is doing now. Twitch is basically seeing all, at least this is how it feels like to me, Twitch is seeing all of these new bots uh, that are entering streams saying, buy followers, buy, buy viewers, you want, you want this, you want that, you want to grow, come buy, come buy follows, that's what it feels like Twitch is doing, they're seeing all these bots out there. But it feels like, yo, Lady Frost, thank you for the follow. Greatly appreciate you. Hope you're doing well today. Thank you for dropping by. Uh, how's your day going so far? Hope all is well. Currently in the uh, first topic of the stream here, which is the drifts, hit, or which is the uh, Twitch boost issue. So like I was saying, the, the, with the way this is going, okay, we've already got these issues with the bots. That are, that are coming into people's streams, like, and saying, Hey, when to be famous? Buy follows on this website. And Twitch is seeing this. Lurkin, doing some homework, have a great stream. Thank you, Henry. I appreciate you, dude. Greatly appreciate you. But Twitch is seeing this, and this is the sad thing. It, they have basically enabled these view, these bots. By, except instead of having the money go towards those websites... Twitch is now scamming their own their own streamers by saying, "Oh, you want to grow? Sure, your viewers can pay three, four, five dollars, or you can pay it yourself, and we will recommend you to so many channels for however many you pay." That there is an issue with this. There is a big issue with this. Us streamers, us as streamers, we don't get any of that revenue. All that revenue goes directly to Twitch. That's where I have an issue with this. We are already getting fucked up the ass with no lube. Sorry for my, my language, but we're already getting fucked up the ass with no lube by getting a 50% cut on Twitch. I'm not into the streaming for the money. I'm not into it for all that. But it hurts when we get 50% of all the all subscriptions, all, all uh, 
bits, this, that, and the other. While YouTube, Trovo, others take maybe 70%, 80%. Yet Twitch is screwing us in the ass with 50%. And now they think it's okay to go in and start testing a way to boost viewers. They are trying to go make you pay to boost your viewers and your and your recommendations. And that is where I am having issue. This could be the downfall of Twitch. Let me know in the chat what y'all are thinking on that. Because I am curious. What are y'all's thoughts on this new boost feature that, that has been lo looming around and being rumored on, on Twitch? What are your thoughts on this? Because I'm curious. As it has a big impact on possibly the future of Twitch. No. What are y'all thinking on that? Let me know what y'all are thinking on that real quick. Oh, did not want to close that window on on that. Do apologize. Personally, I feel like, just my personal opinion, them going this route is a very dangerous way for them to go. I feel like... Hey, Bear, I appreciate the lurk, brother. Thank you. But I, I want to know what y'all think about these Twitch boosts. Because personally, in my opinion, this is probably the dirtiest thing Twitch has done. Like, yeah, I understand, you know, they went and gave us this new feature to go and, you know, start helping to protect our chats by limiting who can view or, or who can enter the chat, you know, who can actually be active, which prevents some of the bots. It's a step in the right direction. I praise them on that. But, they are getting to the point of excessive greed. Yeah, it's ran by Amazon, I get that. But, why? Why so much greed? Why make us have to go and deal with the kind of bullshittery that they are making us go through? In what world? In what universe? Is it right to take advantage of your streamers like this? Where, you, where, where they can go and get boosted. So you could go and pay to, to have your channel boosted. Now the thing that really, the, the thing that this, that this is going to do, this is going to hurt small streamers the most. Big streamers, they're gonna, their viewers are gonna go ahead and they're get, their viewers, you know, they go and get, I don't know how many subs a month, these bigger streamers. But think about it. 3,000 recommendations for three bucks. 1,000 recommendations for a dollar. These bigger streamers, they're going to be able to go and boost like crazy. Which is going to make a hell of a lot of money on this. Because the, the bigger streamers, the especially streamers like, especially all these female streamers like that are big, like Pokemon, uh, Alinity, all of them. I'm not, I'm not, I have no hate towards female streamers. I love female streamers, you know. It's it's not, it's not that I hate, it's their communities. Because their communities are, in most, in most ways, a bunch of simps. And this is the thing. They're going to get the most, they're going to, they're going to, their fans are going to immediately boost as much as possible to get them even more recommended than they already are. And I feel like that's going to flood Twitch and the front page. That's going to make it even harder for small streamers to get discovered. It's going to make it harder for us small streamers to get out there. And this is where things are going to get rough. You know, it's going to be a rough next few months. Maybe even maybe even more than months. Maybe even years on, on Twitch. You know, we don't know how this is going to go. Um, we know this is in testing right now. Heck, it may never even go through. It may never pro proceed past the uh, beta stage. Which I hope it doesn't. But if it does, things are going to get rough around here. So, one thing I will ask of all of you. Do not waste your money on these boosts for my channel. Do not waste your money. Because Twitch, that goes directly to Twitch. You want to go and boost my, if you want to go and help to boost my channel, do so the legit way. The way it has always been. 
Re retweet my posts. Share my streams in Discord. Tell people about the streams. If you enjoy my content, if you love what I do, tell people about it, you know? Spread the word by word of mouth. The way streaming has always been. Don't let people go and don't fall for Twitch's bullshit about, oh, you want to go and grow? Let's go and help. Let's give you a way you can pay to grow your channel. Don't do that, y'all. All I ask is do not boost my channel. No matter what happens, if we ever get that feature, do not boost. If anything, retweet. There is the tweet command as well, so if you have Twitter, you can do exclamation tweet to tweet the stream out. Uh, that's something I set up back in the early days, and it's something I'm ve still very heavily believer, believer, a heavy believer in, is Twitter, Discords, word of mouth, and, I'm a, and I am considering TikTok, I just I haven't had the motivation or the really urge to go in and start editing stuff. I might just start posting clips on TikTok and seeing what happens with that. So, I do have some clips ready uh, from streams, so I might start just posting those to TikTok and seeing what they ha see what seeing what happens with them. So, keep an eye on that. I will be posting the TikTok. Uh, if I do that, I'll post the TikTok on Twitter and in the Discord if you want to go follow that there. Just to see, uh, just if I decide to do that. Not 100% yet. Now, on to the next topic, though. 24-hour stream. As y'all know, I've done probably... 11 or 12 24 hour streams so far most of them have been for charity not all of them the first two or three were not really charity they were just more okay I'm, I'm having fun i'm you know trying to go and you know grow uh help grow the channel but also you know do a longer stream because i'm already doing a 24 hour race so that was why i did those 24 hours in the early days but as things went on, I was like, you know, these 24 hour streams, they only happen a few times a year. Let's try to go and let's try and make something out of them. For charity. Now this is the thing. 24 hour streams, a lot of thing a lot of people think, oh, that they're, they're they're difficult. Or and you're right, they are. But then there's another group of people that think, these 24 hour streams, I can do it, it's no big deal. But this is the thing with a 24 hour. Now I'm speaking from experience of doing 12, 11 or 12. I can't, I've lost track because of how many I've done. They will fuck your sleep schedule. They really threw over your sleep schedule. You've got to be prepared. So a few, a quick, quick bit of advice for those. Number one, if you're going to do it, make sure you do it at a normal time you know for me i've always it, i think part of what screws over my sleep schedule with it the most is i start mine er at 10 a.m and that's because all the races that i do have started at 10 a.m but make sure you start one that's make sure that it, when you do it you start it at a time you know you're going to be comfortable going and having the most energy for you. so if you've slept all 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 day do it shortly after you wake up that evening. You know, try and intentionally screw up. Try and intentionally sleep in late the day you're going to do it. What's going on, Bearded? Hope you're doing well. Currently, get, uh, just got done with the Twitch Boost chat discussion. Currently trying to go and give some tips on 24-hour streams. How you doing, man? Watching two streams at once is tough. Who else are you watching, Coffee? How you doing, man? Hope all is well. Uh, but no, with... 24-hour streams, though, definitely go ahead and, uh, before we get into that, Coffee, do me a favor and shout out Bearded. Dude's an absolute legend. He deserves some love. I'm watching Jimmy B as well. You know, per yeah, I know you in persona. But do me a favor and shout out Bearded. Please and thank you. The dude is an absolute legend. But with 24-hour streams, this is the issue with 24 hours. Need to do the space. Need to do the space. 
24 hour streams if you're gonna do it like i said start it where you're not going to be extremely tired the next day so for example i started it at 10 a.m because of all my races that was shortly after i woke up only issue is i the next day and for the next week after that what's go what's going on there kitty hope you're well the only issue with starting it as at 10 a.m. or in the morning is that is you're gonna be you're going to be extremely exhausted 10 a.m. to the morning that next day. You may not fall asleep for a few hours after that if you're like me. And so, say you get to sleep at uh, at 1 p.m. after you end your streak of a 24 hour. That that's that's going to Mess with your internal clock. So you want to start a 24-hour stream, personally, I think, and this is what I'm going to do going forward. Start your 24-hour stream around the time of when you know you are going. You normally want to go to bed, so that the next day, when you do it, that when you go and wake up the next day, it's our, it's you're you're waking up closer to your normal wake-up time. You're not waking up early in the morning and then your entire sleep schedule is oh I'm waking I'm sleeping I'm staying up all night because I can't sleep because my internal clock is messed up Kitty asking what is sleep yeah I uh that's a, I asked myself that exact same question Kitty sometimes I ask myself that exact same question um another thing do what you can to I only sleep an hour a day, so 24 hours? Easy. I mean, for some people it is easy, kitty. For some people it is. For others, not so much. The next thing I want to touch on, though, with that is variety. You're going to... Doing a 24-hour stream... Hey, I fully understand that... Uh, coffee going and uh, trying to fix that sleep schedule. I fully understand, fully respect that. Go ahead and do what you gotta do, man. But doing a 24 hour stream, you're going to get burnout easier doing one game. Doing one game for the entire 24 hour, unless you are extremely into that game, unless you love that game with all of your heart and soul, playing one game for the entire 24 hour is going to wear you out more than uh that is going to wear you out more than playing three four or five different games throughout that entire stream but that's why when i stream i normally go and do a mix of two three four different games so like for the last one we had forza we had some test drive we had some uh Call of Duty, I think some Insurgency. Yo, EG, EJP, hope you're doing well. Thank you for that follow earlier. And, uh, Jamal, whenever I fix my sleep schedule, I end up fucking it up every time. You know, I feel that pain, Jamal. I do. See, I, I, I do the same thing, and it absolutely sucks. Sleep schedule is one of the biggest things to keep consistent for me. And I struggle with it more than, more than you'd realize. So, the only way you can ever fix it is using meds, yeah. And that's the thing, using using melatonin and stuff like that is sometimes the only way people can fix their sleep schedule, and that's the, that's the sucky thing, it really is. Um, next thing though is with the variety, variety of stream, of uh, games for the stream, that's also that also leads into the next thing is you can't just uh to after after we get done with the just chatting stream we will be going to test drive unlimited 2 kitty we'll be going to that after we get done with this just chatting segment so just stay tuned for that um could have warned me could have warned you about what blackbird you know it's test drive tuesday it's Test Drive Tuesday, brother. I'm sorry. We're gonna be in this for at least another 40... We're, we're gonna be in this for another 40, 50 minutes anyway, I think, so... 
You're good, brother. Um, on top of that, though, make sure you have good, good. Make sure uh, you have good food for your for your 24 hour. You know, you want to keep enough energy in your body. So, food is going to be key. Now, I see a lot of people for their 24 hours going for energy drinks. You know, I use energy drinks as well for my streams. But there is a difference between good energy drinks and bad energy drinks for your stream. Now, the issue with it is this. I see a bunch of people go for Red Bull, Monster, NOS, uh, Rockstar, that kind of energy drink. And while, yeah, that's your go-to energy drink, that may go and get you through for a few hours. But this is the issue. There's so much sugar in those energy drinks that they have a hard crash. Those are not the good energy drinks to use for a 24-hour. Those you want to avoid at all costs. What you want to do for a 24-hour, if you're getting energy drinks, is you want to take NOS. Or not NOS, excuse me, scratch that. You want to go for, like, raise energy. Which, I had to put that one first because I do... I am a, an ambassador for raise. Um, but you want to go for raise energy. You want to go for G Fuel, Sneak, um... Rogue Energy, even. Here, did I even shout it out to a company? You want to go and... You want to go for something like that. Because the beauty of those is they are sugar-free. Hell, even go out to... If you can't afford any of those, do what I've done my past few streams. Go out to Walmart, and they've got these cheap little... Little, um, packet things that you can go and grab. That are coming like a 10-pack a or something. And they are, they are, they just make, and they are little energy packets. Just make sure that they are, um, I was gonna, I was gonna get to water anyway, coffee. I was already gonna get to, to water anyway. Water is all, is always on the list. But thank you for reminding people. Water is a good one, yes. But if you're going to go energy drinks, there's even the Walmart alternative of great value. You know, there's always a, a generic off-brand that you can get of energy drink as well. Just make sure when you buy it, if you're going to use energy drinks for a 24-hour, make sure that those energy drinks are sugar-free. Some generic shit is either good or ass. You're very, you're very true. Some of the generic shit is ass. But, off of experience, I can guarantee you that the Walmart stuff, the uh, the great value, that stuff works. At least the lemonade one does. I don't know about their other flavors, but the lemonade one is the one I've used the past two 24 hours, and it works. So that, get some Mountain Dew, get some Dr. Pepper, that stuff as well sort of helped me. Don't want to go too much on either of those because they still have sugar in them. If you can get them in the sugar-free variant, that's even better. But don't overdo it. Because you can cause health problems from too much caffeine. So you don't want to overdo the caffeine intake either. So that's another thing you gotta, wa you gotta watch out for. Which is why I agree with what Black Coffee said. Water is also a good alternative. As he said, it does release a lot of energy that is stored in the body. Um, but... Personally, I feel that I've done water, and water has not personally helped me a lot. Um, so go ahead, coffee, go ahead, and uh, feel free to give a warning. You know, I'm always, uh, always open for it. Feel free to go ahead. Yeah, I know you've been drinking them for eight years, drinking them daily. Go ahead and give your advice, man. I suffer from severe IBS now, can't manage without them either. Yeah, definitely have them in moderation. That is a big thing. Yeah. Because if you have them too much, you will end up with major health problems. For those who don't know what IBS is, um, I'm not sure the exact de description, but I know it, it means, uh, from what I've heard of, um, of, uh, 
get heart palpitations from him. Yeah. Uh, from what I've heard of uh, black coffee, though, he does, uh, basically with IBS, it does sort of cause um, extreme, um, extreme pain in your stomach, as well as, yeah, your bowels don't moderate properly. Thank you. I couldn't get the woods to formulate right. But yeah. So I don't think that, so honestly, you want to do it in moderation. Yeah. Yeah. What about the sugar-free monsters and stuff? Do they, um... Maddie, thank you for dropping by. Uh... What about these sugar-free monsters and stuff? Do they ha do they do the same thing? I have that from drinking them? Um... I don't know for sure on that, but I know that the sugar-free monsters and stuff should not cause you a, uh, energy crash. So if you were doing a 24-hour stream... Or you're just you just need the energy in general. I don't think they would cause you to have a hard crash, but um, heart palpitations and um, IBS, I'm not 100% sure on. I don't think they would, but there is that slight possibility. I'm not 100% on that though. Um, that's something more for uh, Black Coffee to um, answer for that one. By the way, thank you for dropping by, though, Maddie. Do appreciate you. For those who don't know, Maddie is is my girl. Do not show her any disrespect. Absolutely love her to death. Please show her some respect, y'all. Oh crap! I didn't even realize we were just in an ad. So for those who for those who did not hear what I just said, um, Maddie, I'm not sure if you were in the ad there or not, but the sugar-free monsters and stuff. I don't know if they're going to cause that. Um, issue. Again, they shouldn't cause a crash. They shouldn't cause you too much issues. Um, what's going on, Jamal? You should do a podcast? Really? They do hurt you no matter what due to taurine and caffeine. Even overdosing coffee can get you bad, even though the lack of taurine does mean one less problem. You're not wrong there. Yo, Jamal, thank you, man. That means a lot to me to hear that you would listen to a podcast. Thank you, man. That means a lot. Honestly, glad that people are starting to enjoy this segment. You know what? If Twisted wanted to do a monthly podcast or bi-weekly identity for him? Now you're getting me! Now you're making me want to think on that. Wouldn't would manage weekly, but I'd gladly do- Hey, uh, I- I'd definitely consider that. Um, I don't know yet. Let me- let me think on that. I like the idea. I like the idea. Let me think on it. Let me think on it. But, yeah, basically, with 24 hours, though, you just gotta have... It, you just gotta have that full-on thoughts on energy. Thoughts on the Facebook dropout? Um... Not too sure on that, you know? Uh... For one, I feel it was good. Um, Facebook has its own issues uh, that I don't want to go into, but Facebook does have a bunch of issues. And I feel like a break from Facebook was good for a lot of people. I drink coffee and my IBS is horrible. I didn't realize you I didn't realize you struggled from IBS as well, Maddie. You never you would never mention that. But uh I mean, if you're drinking coffee and you struggle with it, I think caffeine, for, I think that uh, energy drinks are something that aren't really making it any better. So it's something that I would personally uh, step away from if I were you. But that's just my, uh, that's just my personal thoughts on that. Um, now another thing with these 24 hours though, on to the pros and cons. The pros with doing a 24 hour is you're, li you're live for longer, so there's a bigger chance of people coming into your stream. You can play, you can go, if you're doing a let's play on a 24 hour, you can get more of that let's play done. If you're doing, uh, if you're, you know, if you're going and, uh, it, it gives more chance for people to come that may not normally get to catch your stream because they follow and they're in Europe. Or in the opposite time zone from you. It gives them a chance to finally be there. You know, it gives people who aren't normally there a, an extra chance to see you live. 
those are some of the pros of a 24 hour. It also gives a, it's also something you can use as a benefit to help with, you know, run a charity stream. Get people in there, maybe make them want to go and donate for whatever charity you're doing it for. For me, as y'all know, my biggest charity that I raise money for is Children's Miracle Network. Um, over the past, uh, uh, five months or so, that, or past five charity streams that we've done, I believe we've raised a total of over $400 total for Children's Miracle Network since the very first one that we did. So, not as much as I would like to raise, but it is, it is something. And I thank everyone who has ever donated to those charity streams. It means the world to me. Because, as y'all know, without Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, I would be blind today. I would probably be blind. Because they saved my eyesight. Children's Miracle Networks, when I was two, saved my eyesight. So, that's a charity that will always be dear to my heart. And a charity I will always try to support. Um, so, helping with, so with a 24-hour stream, it does allow you to raise money for a charity. It does give you a uh, better chance at raising money for a charity, because more people are going to want to come in, maybe show some support, maybe donate. If nothing else, maybe even just retweet your tweet, which does help as well, for the awareness. Um, now, the, the cons of a 24-hour, though. Numbers. If you do a 24 hour, your numbers aren't always going to be consistent. Your average could drop, especially if you're a smaller streamer. If you're a smaller streamer and you know you struggle with views, a 24 hour could be good or bad. I've had a, I've had a few 24 hours that you know they've been good. I have, uh, I can average sometimes a good amount of people from those. But this is a problem as well. It's a double edged sword. Because you never know what edge of that sword you're going to get. You could get the good edge, which is the dull one, and you know you you're exhausted as hell at the end, and your and your but your average has gone up a little bit. Or you could be on the sharp edge, you're exhausted as hell at the end of it, and you your average tank because nobody shows for a, a few hours out of it. And, your, and the average just completely tanks. So if you're, you know, trying to reach a certain average, if you're pushing to reach a certain average of viewers, uh, say if you're trying to go for, um, you know, affiliate, or if you're just trying to keep a, try to push to raise that average to maybe get more people to show up, that is a big risk. Because a 24 hour, well, yes, sometimes it can People will come and stay for a, for a few for multiple hours out of that thing. There are also going to be times where your your chat is completely dead. So you have to be good at talking over your game, commentating what you play. Because <coughs> if you can't commentate what you play as you're playing it, and you just, and someone comes into your stream and they just walk in and they they just hear perf complete and utter silence. That's not going to make someone want to stay. And this sort of ties into the next topic that we're going to transition to. Which is... You are the content. Not your equipment. You. Back in the early days when I did stream, I remember an 8-hour one on on Most Wanted 05. It was both great and bad. At some, ch at some points, the chat was super lively. At certain times, I was hit, but overall, there was some really bad silent times. Yeah, and exactly. The longer you stream, the more risk you take at having those slow moments. But, as long as you're having fun, that's what matters, you know? I feel like too many people focus on the numbers. It's, do, what, do what's fun for you. You know, focus on what's fun. If you're having fun, don't... Don't worry about the numbers. Just keep streaming. Um, but like I was saying, this is where this leads into the next. The uh, I think I got so tired I went a bit loopy. Blackbird, you know I love you, brother, but you're loopy a lot of the time, man. I mean, I've known you for how long? 
and I don't know how many times we've been on a call, man, and you've been loopy as hell. Keep that in mind. But this is the thing, though, with 24, with uh, no, I just did the 24-hour section. Excuse me. Brain, my brain goes 1,000 miles an hour, so I do apologize. But as I was saying, with this next topic of going in, and you are the content, not your equipment. I can't tell. I can't tell you how many times I have heard someone say, "Oh, I need to. I need to improve my equipment in order to grow. I need to improve my equipment if I want to get big." Let me. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you something. You're wrong. You are the content. If you can. It's all about you. How you portray yourself. How active you are with your chat. How entertaining you can be. How interact again, interactive with your chat you can be. And that is the key thing. Be interactive with chat when people come in. Have a it's they're all about the vibes. If they can feel your energy, if they can see your energy, they're gonna want to stay around. They're gonna wanna be there. It doesn't matter the 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 equipment you have. I got a buddy of mine, Official Jackson. That man has that man streams directly from his PS4. He's been streaming for a few months. <coughs> but this man, Official Jackson. Let me go and shout him out real quick because I want y'all if y'all have not followed this man, shout go and check him out. One second here. Let me go and make sure I get his name exact on here. And then we will uh, uh, get him uh, because this man, uh, I'm on full mod duties. Hey, I appreciate you, buddy. But I walked away from everything else and I'm keeping eyes. Hey, I thank you, Coffee. Thank you, man. Uh, but yeah, do me a favor and check out the official. Oh, uh, did I type that in right? Yeah, I did. We're good. Shoot that man some love. Show him some respect. Drop him a follow, please and thank you, y'all. That man is a legend. And this man has streamed since he started. This, since he started, this man has streamed for directly from his PlayStation. He's been at this for maybe three, four, five months. The man is already at 1.3 thousand followers, and it's natural. This man averages 30, 40 viewers per stream. And it's because of the fact of how much he goes out there and he's networked. This man networks his ass off. Going into streams, supporting people, showing love to people, shouting people out on Twitter. Going in and being interactive with this chat, pausing his entire game and stepping away from the game to have a meaningful conversation with people. You are your content. No matter what your equipment is. You can have the shittiest equipment on the planet. As long as you ha show that you care about your community, as long as you're able to put your, your energy out there and give off some good vibes, people will come. People will stay. That's something, and that's something I've always admired about official, people like Official Jackson. Honestly, one of the, uh, again, one of my homies, is he didn't let his equipment stop him. He saw he, he he saw what he wanted and he shot for it. He went for it. He didn't let anyone stop him. The man is an absolute legend. And because of that, he has grown to the point where I think he could hit po partner by the end of the year, early next year. This man is going to hit partner. Probably before he even has two months of full PC setup. Because the man is currently working on getting a PC, getting an Xbox, and getting a whole bunch of other stuff. But I don't think I don't think he's gonna be on that for too long before he's already partner. And he's built most of that off of a PlayStation 4. So Yeah. Keep that in mind. Your content doesn't matter. Exactly, it's about the personality. People don't People don't care about the game. People, yeah, some people care about the games. Some people do. But do what you enjoy. If people could tell you're enjoying the, the content that you're playing, or that people could tell that you're, you've got positive energy, people are going to want to be around that. 
people are gonna wanna be there and support you. That's something I'm realizing. I'm I'm two years two and a half years late to realizing it, but it's something I'm beginning to realize even more. And it's something I've sort of started to work on myself. Because I've seen the energy and it has inspired something deep as deep within me. So you know it's all about that personality. All about you. What you what kind of community you build. What kind of passion energy, vibes, that you have. Because that's what's going to draw people to your channel, or push them away. So, from there, that also leads to the final topic is, or final segment of why I say, and that's play, it's a short one. Uh, even the most skilled player won't keep people entertained unless they have something to say about it. Exactly, Coffee. Exactly. Because you, you gotta be, you gotta, even, if you're, you could be the greatest player on earth, but if you're not entertaining people, if you're not ma making meaningful conversations with people, and, you know, engaging with them, they're not going to stay. They are not going to stay out there at all. And it's, it's one of the reasons why I avoid games like Warzone, for the most part. Because... In games like that, I want to go and focus on, on just shooting. I want to focus on just doing what I do. Or, ra or even my race and stuff. I want to focus on the race. But at the same time, it's hard to focus on the chat as well. And do the same thing. Like, I can do it. But I'm not going to be the best of the best I can be while doing it. Like, I'm to the point where at, I've done this long enough. I can, I can read a chat while moving and still race. And still, you know... Make the course. Will I be the fastest out there? No. Will I probably be a few seconds off my pace? Probably. But I can do it and still and still be interactive with chat. But the problem is, this is this sort of goes into my next next thing that I didn't really put up on the on the list of things I wanted to talk about. But this is a good one. Play what you enjoy. Play what makes you happy. Don't just play the new, the biggest game just because it just came out, or just because you think, oh, it's 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 what's trending right now. I'm gonna go and get a whole bunch of views because. Let me tell you from someone who's tried that, with Among Us, with Call of Duty, with Forza. You you have, there are a bunch of big people out there. That are really good at the game. Very good. There are going to be partners out there. Switch partners. Playing those games. Yeah, you could play them on launch. You could. But. The growth that you think is going to happen. May most likely will not happen. As much as you think. And the reason why. Is because you're there's going to be so many people on that game. At, the, at launch, especially the partners, that you're going to be further down on that list. I'm not saying you won't grow. I'm just saying that... Excuse me. I'm just saying that there's a chance you might not grow as much as you want. Now, if you're focused on growth, don't focus on always doing the new games. Because, as I said, you are the content... Hey, just don't even worry about it, Jamal. I, I I appreciate you even being here, man. But don't even worry about it if you haven't been talking much. I greatly appreciate you. It means the it means the world to me, man. It means absolutely everything to me. Um But you are this leads back into you are the content. If people can't tell that you're having fun with the game, if people can't tell that you're enjoying the game, if people sense that you're just playing it for the views, or you're just playing it because it's what's big, they're not going to stick around. You, People stick around if they can sense an energy that you are truly enjoying what you're playing. If people can get that feeling that you actually are truly enjoying the game, and able to really feel that, you know, that you're actually in it because you enjoy it, because it's a game you're passionate about, People will stick around more because they can feel that energy. People can feel that vibe. 
So that's why I always tell people, play what you want. Play what you feel makes you happy. Because people can feel that energy. You can feel that. And chasing numbers, that's something I used to do. And it's not the way to grow. If anything, chasing numbers is the way to slow your growth. I learned that I, I learned that the hard way. It wasn't until I met people like Initial D, The Bear Project, uh, Official Jackson, Black Widow, all of them. Once I met them, they were the they were the people that really changed my outlook on str on streaming and my goals. And they're the ones who inspired me to make changes to the way I do things. And uh, they taught me how to network. So, huge thank you to all of you. Whether you're watching this live, whether you're watching this on a VOD, however you may be watching it, thank you. Now, I will be uploading these Just Chatting segments over to YouTube here within the... Uh, just the just chatting segment, not the gaming. The gaming is going to stay stay away. But I think I may upload these just chatting segments up to YouTube uh, moving forward, and let y'all go in and uh, just for those who want to go and catch catch what was said, because the goal moving forward is to try and be a motive, try and have some motivational thinking uh, moving forward. Because I feel like I, as a person, can help people grow. That's my goal. Helping people to grow. Even if I don't grow that much myself, I want to be that one person who can help others. So, that is the goal with, with this segment, with this channel. And I hope that y'all can stand, stand behind that and support that. Because that's something I'm very deeply passionate about. So... Huge thank you to everyone who stopped by. So far, we are coming up on 55 minutes. I feel like I've said all I can say right now on the topics that I've just mentioned. Um, a few other topics, I, a few other things, small tidbits that I do want to mention before we swap over to Test Drive Unlimited 2. Friday is the is the start of the Battlefield 2042 open beta. We are going to try and stream that. I can't guarantee the quality of that, whether it's going to be uh, 60 FPS complete or if it's going to be buggy. It's a beta, and there are some performance issues uh, according to the FAQ right now. So, it's an older beta build. We're going to test it out, see what it's about, get a feel for Battlefield 2042, and go from there. Uh... Got a few other things that um, I, I am thinking about. We may start bringing Sleeping Dogs back here in the next uh, week or so. Gain some of the DLC story done on that. But today, it's about Test Drive Unlimited 2. So without further ado. Go and grab the controller. Grab the wheel. Hey, you want to mention something real quick? Go ahead, Jamal. Go on ahead and mention it, brother. I'm going to start uh, saying things over to get them ready for... Uh, the next transition here. So bear with me. Two right there. Uh, I just want, I genuinely, I genuinely want to thank you in the time I was in a bad spot in my mind, like for real. You've helped me mentally. Dude. I'm glad I've been able to help you. You know, that's something that, that's something I'm, ha I'm, I'm, I'm proud I was able to do for you, man. You know, but I can't take all that credit. Because you, it was you who helped yourself out as well. Yeah, I may have been there for you, but you helped. I'm not. I'm not alone in that. Cause you, you, you helped yourself out as well. It's not just me that did it. Cause you did it yourself. You had the will. You had the will to jump out and and to get out of that bad spot. You just didn't know how. All I did was offer you the rope to get out of that 
to go and get out of that uh, that spot in, that you were in, man. I just offered you the rope and ladder to get up out of there. You're the one who truly climbed out of it. I just offered you the tool. So, I can't take all of it. I can't take all of that blame or that, uh, that thanks and credit from all, but you are very welcome. I'm glad I was here to, you know, be there for you. But you, in the end, you truly helped yourself. I just gave you the tool. Yo, what's going on, Finn? I hope you're well, man. Just ending over, just ending the, uh, just chatting section of the stream here. Getting ready to hop over to Test Drive Unlimited 2. I hope you're well, though. What have you been up to today, Finn? Hope all is well for you, man. Everyone who stuck around for the, uh, just chatting, thank you very much. Let me know. In the chat, if you are, if you've been lurking, if you've been listening, let me know in the chat what your thoughts are on what I on the on the uh, just chatting segment. Let me know if you have any advice, any tips, anything you'd like to see covered in the in the future. Sounds like a great mentor statement you just said. Well, I mean, I try, I try, I I do what I can. You know, I don't want, I don't claim to be a uh, expert at it. No, I. I I do what I can because I care. I really do. Um, where did that folder go? Hold on. There it is. Alrighty. I was gonna say, where is it? Up launcher, get that booted. I believe there might be an update. Nope, no update, we're good. You know, if anyone has any advice any um any advice any tips at all on on what i could do in the future to improve these segments or to you know of topics to cover in the future let me know um you know i'm always open to advice always up to suggestions so uh if you want to go and mention uh leave me a dm or co or mention it to me on discord or this that or the other uh, I would greatly appreciate that, and uh, all you know, I'm always looking for support for suggestions because I know I can't do this myself. I, 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 I did, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm good at it somewhat, but I don't have the full confidence to complete to do it all to continue doing this um, every si I, like every single day, you know. But I think this is gonna be like a once a week, maybe a couple times a week thing at this point, but. Once I get more confident, once I can come up with topics easier to discuss, I feel like this is something that I do want to try and make an every stream kind of deal. Um, but anyhow, we're going to go ahead and hit the play button and uh, get going on Test Drive Unlimited. So, one moment here and we will go to the in-game section. 